Hey everybody, it's Lee. I am going to show you today how you can connect your school computer to uh, your ViewSonic board in your classroom, but there's even more than that. We know that trying to teach on this one little monitor is, is going to be a little problematic. Um, if you have a flat screen TV at home, some of the tips that I'm going to show you right now about connecting to an external device uh, are going to work on your computer, on your flat screen TV at home. So I'm in my classroom right now and I've got my brand new ViewSonic board right here and I've got my laptop. So how I'm going to do this is I'm, I need to connect these two cables that are coming off of the ViewSonic board. So I've got two cables. The first one is this HDMI cable. It looks like you would use to connect to your flat screen TV at home. So if you've got one of these cables, you can connect that to your laptop and then connect it to your computer. The other thing is if you're teaching in the building and if you're teaching on the ViewSonic board, the USB cable is going to provide touch continuity so that you can touch the screen and it's going to um, make your laptop do things. So you'll have the full touch ability. So the problem here is that when I try and connect this HDMI cord to my laptop, some of the laptops have an HDMI port, but some of them do not. Uh, I have the HP 640 model. You can tell by looking right up here in this top corner. It says 640. But um, if you have that 640 model, you're going to need this dongle. Uh, this dongle is, an, is a display port to HDMI port. It's a little bit of a square thing on one end and then an HDMI cord on the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that into the display port and then I'm going to plug my HDMI cord into that. Now once I do that I can plug my USB cord in and uh, you'll notice that my screen just changed there so now I'm displaying um, my monitor on my computer. So I'm going to pause here for just a second while I switch computers and uh, I will be right back. All right, I am back and I'm going, I'm on my computer now and what I'm going to do, once I've got this connected, you only need to do this once because your computer is going to remember whatever external device you've got connected. So I'm going to right click here on my background and I'm going to go to display settings. Now, when you first come into it, the default is that uh, your monitors will be duplicated on your computer. And what that's going to look like is this. So you have this 1 and this 2 here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, and then I'm going to put my monitor into extended mode. And then I need to do one other thing here. As I scroll up in extended mode, uh, you'll see that I have two screens there. They may or may not come up in the right order. Um, it's important that you adjust which order your screens are. My laptop screen is a little bit smaller. This, it's the number one, and then the number two is my other screen. So if I click the Identify button here, you see I've got a one down here, and then my other screen, um, when I do that, my other screen should have a two down there in the bottom corner. All right. So I can adjust these by just drag and drop. I can move those around. So if I'm teaching and I've got my laptop underneath my screen, I could set it up like this. If my uh, big screen, my ViewSonic or my TV is on my right-hand side, I can move it to the right-hand side and uh, I can adjust that. So my ViewSonic is actually on uh, the left-hand side of my monitor. and. Um, I want to make sure that I adjust this. If I adjust it this way, I like to adjust it so that when I'm at the very bottom of my screen, so I can always find my mouse, I can drag all the way down to the bottom and then drag left or right, and that'll help me get my mouse to the correct screen. So once I've done that, I can click Apply, and then my uh, screens are going to go back to where they are. And then next time I plug in here, I don't have to do this because my computer is going to remember, hey, I was plugged into that monitor. It was called ViewSonic, and it's over here on the left, and it will take care of that. 
This will work if you're using a second monitor at home. So if you have an old computer monitor, you can connect that to your laptop. If you have a flat screen TV, you can connect that to a laptop, to your laptop as well. So if you need a dongle, uh, it should be in the box that came with the ViewSonic in your classroom. If somebody's already grabbed that or if it's not there, please see Jason and he has some additional um, devices.